Optoma's latest home entertainment laser projector offers cinematic SDR images mixed with excellent gaming credentials with low input lag, but can it do justice to HDR? Hello and welcome to another video on AV Forums. I'm Phil Hinton, the site editor, and I'm a fully trained and qualified ISF and THX calibrator with 20 years of experience. In this video, we're looking at the Optoma UHZ50 DLP laser projector. The Optoma UHZ50 is a long-standing member of the Optoma home entertainment projector lineup, and it uses a laser light source to allow for instant on-off convenience and a long lifespan compared to bulb-based systems. It uses a 0.47-inch DLP DMD with a 1920x1080 resolution, and this utilizes XPR technology to create a 4K image to the eye which is using a four-way pixel shift technique. This is a cost-effective method that does away with the need for a native 4K DLP chip, which would be extremely expensive. And it does so in a convincing manner that fools the eye into seeing a higher resolution image. The design of the Optoma UHZ50 is that of a traditional projector with the lens off to the right side when looking from the front and connections are placed on the rear of the unit along with the speaker. The body is sculpted plastic with plastic feet to the bottom to allow for tabletop setup. To the top of the projector body, we have manual controls for lens shift and zoom with focus achievable via the lens ring. Towards the rear of the top plate are manual keys for accessing the menu functions should you lose the tiny remote control. The connections are placed at the rear of the projector chassis and they consist of three HDMI 2.0 ports with HDMI 1 sporting the enhanced gaming mode and HDMI 3 the pure motion settings. There are three USB ports with the first being a power and service item and then we have a LAN port, RS-232 control port, optical digital out, two 12 volt triggers and a 3D sync. The remote control supplied with the Optoma is a thin plastic affair that feels very flimsy. It has all the necessary control buttons available but given the competition offer full size well designed units this just feels like an afterthought. The projector is designed to be used in a home entertainment system and setting so it's not for critical movement movie viewing in a dark room, but for sports, gaming and maybe the occasional movie on the big screen within a typical living room. The portability and flexibility of the laser light source add to this use case. There is a wireless dongle provided in the box to add some smart TV apps, but this turned out to be a non-4K experience with the quality of the smart TV system not reaching today's expected standards or the lineup of apps. For smart, it would be best to stick to a third-party dongle or a box for 4K playback and ease of use. Optoma is pushing the UHZ50 towards the gaming market with support for up to 1080 240 from a genuine gaming PC and an enhanced gaming mode only on HDMI 1 that cuts down input lag for big screen gaming in SDR up to 4K 60p with a lag result of just 16.8 milliseconds. This mode can work on any picture preset via HDMI 1. Another feature worth mentioning is pure motion if you need frame interpolation for fast moving sports content that smooths out the action. Plus there's full support for correct 5.5 pull down with 24 frames per second content. Note that pure motion is only available when sources are plugged into HDMI 3 and the enhanced gaming mode is only available via HDMI 1. We go into the picture quality measurements in detail within the written review at AV Forums, so if you want to pixel peep further, we suggest you head over there and read the review. This DLP, even with a laser light source, is not an HDR projector as it just cannot produce enough stops of dynamic range or the brightness to provide a high dynamic range image with specular highlights. This is to be expected with most projectors and certainly at this end of the market. It does however support HDR10 and HLG or hybrid log gamma sources and provides a decent image that is a little bit brighter than SDR and has a perceivable pop in some scenes. Colours are not very accurate and certainly don't reach the wide colour gamut standards but again within the REC 709 range they look bright and vivid when they need to, just not with the range seen on more capable HDR displays. We also found that 4000 nit content displayed issues with posterization and gradational blocking. 
If you're looking for a do-it-all projector for sports, gaming and film viewing for a living room or even outdoors in the summer, the laser light source of the Optoma UHZ50 is perfect for those use cases. It's portable and well built with a good mix of features and very good input lag for gaming. It's not an HDR projector but it can display HDR content within its capabilities and the SDR image quality is also accurate enough to please movie fans. It's not for critical movie watching, but for occasional big screen thrills in a white painted room, it produces the goods. The only stumbling blocks are the poor implementation of the smart TV system and the £2,000 price point may be an issue. If you have enjoyed this review, then please do leave us a like. And if you want to see more projector reviews from AV Forums, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.